Okay, so in our video series of step by step treatment of diabetes, in this video, we'll be talking about sliding scale insulin. In sliding scale insulin, the basic idea is that you check the blood sugar of patient four times a day. That is five to six hours apart before each and every meal, you check patient's sugar level. Then according to the sugar level, you give insulin dose. The insulin dose is based on the sugar level before every meal. Rapid acting insulin is used. The higher the glucose level before a meal, the higher insulin dose will be given. This method is mainly used in admitted patients patients that are in hospital and wards. This is a chart that shows the units of insulin according to the blood glucose. If the glucose level is less than 150, no insulin is needed. If it is between 151 to 200, three units of insulin is given and it continues so on. Increasing the insulin dose based on the blood glucose level before meals. Now what we are trying to do in sliding scale insulin is that we are chasing glucose levels with changing insulin. This leads to an effect called as roller coaster effect. What happens is that sometimes we increase the insulin dose and patients develop hypoglycemia and sometimes we reduce the insulin dose and patients develop hyperglycemia. So patient is actually swinging between hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. That's the bad thing about sliding scale insulin. The correct way of using sliding scale insulin is, the better way of using sliding scale insulin is, that what you do is that you combine sliding scale insulin with basal bolus insulin. Basically what you do in basal bolus insulin is, that you give a fixed dose of insulin 0.1 to 0.2 units per kg. The basal part of insulin is a long acting insulin that is given at night. And that basal part controls the baseline glucose of the patient. And the bolus part is an ultra short acting insulin that is given before each and every meal to control the glucose peak after each and every meal. A fixed basal bolus insulin dose is always there. The patient is taking a fixed amount of insulin by basal bolus dose and then you check sugar levels before each and every meal. And if the sugar levels are not in control, then you apply sliding scale insulin. And then you calculate the extra insulin that that patient needs. And then you add that extra insulin according to the sliding scale insulin with that bolus dose. So you are taking the basal bolus as the base insulin and you are adding extra insulin by calculating it through sliding scale insulin. So that's the right way of using sliding scale insulin that you have a fixed dose at the back. And if extra insulin is needed, if the glucose levels are uncontrolled, those ex that extra insulin can be calculated by sliding scale insulin and that sliding scale insulin dose will be added to each and every bolus before the meal. So that's a better way of doing it. You check the sugar before a meal. If it is still high, you apply sliding scale insulin, you calculate the dose and you add it to the basal bolus regimen. So that's how you use sliding scale insulin. In summary, you check the blood sugar levels and then you give insulin based on their sugar levels. This is a chart showing blood glucose level and the insulin dose that is given. This leads to roller coaster effect episode of hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. The better way of doing it is that you uh, give a fixed amount of insulin, the basal bolus dose, and if the, the glucose level is not controlled, you check it before the meals, then you apply sliding scale insulin and you calculate the extra dose of insulin and you add it in each and every bolus before the meal. So this was all about sliding scale insulin. If you liked my video, please click the subscribe button and check out my other videos on diabetes treatment. I have talked in detail about basal bolus regimen, mixed regimen and all the medications that are used for diabetes. Thank you very much.